Hello, this is Bat Cave Comics 83. Sorry I haven't been on here very often of late. Um, I thought I'd quickly, well actually I was going to do a quick video and it's basically the first of a new series of videos because I haven't really collected very much in the last year or two. I haven't really made any videos and I made the old video but it's a long way apart. So I'm going to make a new series of videos called 10 Random Pulls and it was just 10 random comic book pulls from my collection, old and new and everything in between. So this is 10 random comic book pulls, number one. So without any more mumbling, I will start. So this is um, Black Magic, um, I guess, you know, number 34, um, which is from 1957. So this is the September, October edition of the uh, as they say magazine or comic so it's um the id 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 publishing and prize group um that's got the little comics code and this is graded as a fn i'm not quite sure what the grade is but i'm not very good with grades um i have a john carter warlord of mars number 24 which is a 1970s, I can't remember exactly, it's like 77, 78, I believe, something in that ballpark. That's this is number 24, it's a 40 cents uh, comic. I've got um, quite a few of the Warlord of Mars covers, but this is just a random one I pulled. Um, so yeah, I have a few Xena covers. Um, I decided like to get a few, not many, but just the best ones I could get cheaply. And this is, um, Xena, the Warrior Princess number nine, and um, it's by Dark, Dark Dark Horse Publication, Dark Horse Comics. Um, so yeah, direct sales. Um, hope these don't fall over. So this is Cosmo Cat. Cosmo Cat, if I remember correctly, because I can't see it at number twelve. I didn't really do any prep, and that's the thing with these videos. I'm not going to do any prep. I'm just going to go blind. Um, so this is, I believe it's October 1951, 1950. So it's, I got this, this is really cheap. This is like a 10 quid, $10 comic. So um, it's got, I love that, this this kind of artwork though, the kind of ultra cartoony comic book art. Um, Iron Man, The Invincible Iron Man, number 96. This is um, copyright 1976. Marvel Comics group. Um, so yeah, 12 pence variant. I had this little run a few years ago of like collecting Bronze Age, cheap Bronze Age in relatively good condition, and it, which is, this was one of them. Um, so yeah, this is a uh, Linsner, uh, Dawn, Three Tears, um, Limited, number two, and it's uh, signed and I've never even taken it out of the uh, top loader. <laughs> what? Oh no, they're all falling over. And there we are, we're cheating. Um, so yes, yeah, is Jimmy Olsen. Number 133. That's a high grade. Well, I'd say like an 8.5. I said I d don't really know the grades. I do know the grades. I just don't confidently know the grades. So yeah, so, yeah this is a 15 cent comic from the 70s. I love that, that it's just such a bright um cover and also it's got the five pence stamp on it and as you kind of saw already uh here's a lucio perillo vampirella cover um i've actually i may have two copies of this now um i'll have to have a look but yeah this is an awesome cover and anyone who knows um mr Rigor Mortis 86, you know, he loves Perillo covers. So uh, this one, a little shout out to Mr. Rigor Mortis. So this is a Dynamite Comics um, issue 21 of Van Perilla. Although there's been several different interpretations since then. So um, second to last, Adventure Comics 91. Um, with a uh, Kirby, uh, Kirby and Simon cover, 
And uh, this this is an, one of the few like adventure comics, action comics style comics that I own. And uh, I got this cheaply because it was actually a grade 2.5 because somebody had cut like a little advert out from inside, but it didn't really affect it. So it looks visually like a 4.5 or a 5, but it's actually a 2.5 as a grade. So that was a good buy. I just love the, the battlefield scenery and, and just the, the, the general Kirby style. So that's a 10 center. Oh yeah, it's April, May 1943 or 44, 45. It's one of those two, three. <laughs> the lack of planning. And um, yeah, my final comment to show you is Crime Fighters number three. So this is a uh, late forties, um, possibly nineteen fifty. It's it's a late golden age. Let's call it crime cover. And I had my eye on this for ages, and in the end, I just had to get it. Anyway, so that was my uh, small selection, um, and I'll try and do another one of these videos down the line uh, on a fairly regular basis. Assuming I remember, <laughs> but yeah, I'm um, sorry I'm not really around so much anymore. I know that the comic book community's kind of changed quite a lot over the time, so um, I don't know who's going to be watching this who who knows my channel. But um, if you're still there, awesome, and if you're new, awesome. So um, anyway, have a have a cool rest of your day and happy collecting comics.